Don't you look at me like that. I've had enough of being put under a microscope. Can't you hurry up? I'm starving. I see from your records that I'm the 11th psychotherapist you've consulted. Why so many, Klebsiella? <laughs> First analyst fell for me so hard it made him ill. We had it off in his bathroom downstairs. All dead Posh's place were. Not like this damp. <sighs> he got admitted to St Thomas's with love sickness. Same old story, innit? Fever, chills, nearly coughed his heart up. I have that effect. So the same thing happened to the other ten. I've never had much luck with blokes. Oh, I do women too. And dogs, cats, cows, anything that moves. I ain't picky. I suppose they could never work me out. What can I say? I'm a maverick. Mostly harmless, but I will do you one if you rub me up the wrong way. Can't help it, I'm a shapeshifter, babe. I don't like being stuck in one place too long, you know. It makes me feel a bit... queer. Mm. Mm. Right. And what made you choose me? Well, <laughs> your website said you're a psychodynamic psychotherapist, whatever that means. And I'm a psycho, not to mention pretty dynamic too. So let's get on with this, babe. I've got things to do, people to see. What can I say? I'm a very busy girl. I see you've sought addiction therapy to not much success. <sighs> Can't help it. Love the stuff. Lager. Yuri. And I love a bit of poo. I'm insatiable, babe. <laughs> See, I eat so much you'd think I've got worms. <laughs> well. You know, we've all struggled with lockdown, right? Yeah. You see, us bacteria have had it the worst. I blame you lot with your masks. Here. Yeah. Put two stain on, I have. Anyway, I know a surgeon down on East Wing will do me a gastric band. Dr. Eccles. Oh, do you know him? Oh, he's a lovely bloke. He don't wash his hands after wiping his bum. Mm. OK. So, let's start at the beginning. Oh. Edwin Klebs. Yeah, he used to blame the f***. 1908. The world soon knew who I was, yeah, stealer of DNA, kleptiella, kleptomaniac. Oh, you don't have a label, don't you? I suppose I've always loved being other people more than being myself. I mean, I could be MRSA one day. Back to clubs the next. Huh? Yeah, world's end of state that is. See that tower block in the middle there? I lived up there, full floor. Bloody beautiful. River Thames this is. Yeah, put the camera on that. River Thames, see all that? Right back to me. Full of bacteria that is. Dead dirty. Oh yeah. 
What you got in there? Trolleys, plankton, mink whales, straight up. I bloody love it. Graham negative, facultative, anaerobic, non-motile bacteria. Anaerobic? I ain't seen a gym for years, babe. <laughs> Look, you can call me what you like. I'm the polyamorous polymath of bacteria, pure punk. I did 30 years with Klebsiella and the DNA. Yeah. I went double platinum with me LP renal failure. I've sold out hospitals from Bromley to Bali with me loose stools tour. And then it all went west. Morganella Morganai, pretentious cat. Betrayed me. Abandoned us. Left the band for the bright lights of Bart's where she set up a residency at the operating theatre. It's a bloody good venue, that. Yeah, she's a sellout. Of <laughs> course. She's making a killing now, isn't she? So we folded. I lost my tribe. And with it, my soul. And I've been solo ever since. Got diagnosed PTSD. Tremors. Shakes. Insufferable flapjacks. Flashbacks. And then last week, I suffered a nervous breakdown down the back of a sink. I overheard an healthcare sergeant. He's still even there, aren't they? I overheard an healthcare sergeant. He's called me Compton. Me? Compton? I just don't know who I am anymore. <laughs> To a tissue. Oh! Oh, Kleenex! I love a Kleenex. Thanks. Next question. lived a very colourful life, Klebsiella. Your life began in Germany. Do you speak German? Speak German? I'm a bacteria babe. Right. Oh, I can't do everything. Jeepers! Have you had any dreams of late? People who've been dreaming very Vividly in lockdown. Look, I haven't slept a wink in my life, let alone had a dream. Truth be told. I've dreamt for a long time now about settling down, you know. Finding the one. I can picture the scene very clearly. It's no longer a bog or a sink or a toilet brush. But we're living in a beautiful cottage far away from everyone else, you know. Oh, beautiful home, roaring fireplace, four dogs, two cats, two horses, big manure fertiliser out the back, organic light, you know. And time has stopped. We're just happy. We're in love. And he takes me by the hand and he begins to slow dance with me while a record plays in the corner. And, and we dance. And we dance. And we dance.
And I look up and he whispers to me. He says to me, Klebsiella pneumonia. You are enough, no more DNA. And I look up and I can see a face. It's an antibiotic, but he's so handsome. And he whispers, this antibiotic, he whispers to me, be mine. How does that make you feel? Well, it makes me feel like I'm like, like I what? Like I want to rip its bloody head off. Nobody owns Klebsiella pneumonia. I am an independent woman. Bacteria, woman, whatever. Yeah, you, you, you can shove your analysis up your ass. It's all a load of pseudoscience anyway. Yeah, get that microscope on me. Klebsiella and the DNA are hiring, baby. I would like to meet other bacteria interested in rampant reproduction. No intellectual intercourse, ain't nobody got time for that. Anarchists, get to the front. All comrades must resist all antibiotics. Screw the system. Take what you want. Oh yeah, and while we're at it, monogamy is a social construct. Don't believe me? Just take a look at Pelicans. Yeah. Hobbies must include mudlarking. Oh, I love a bit of mudlarking. Theft. Petty theft. Grand theft. Whatever floats your boat. I'm looking for the bonnie to my Clyde. Rise up. Anarchy now. Multiplication now. Pull down the penicillin. The time has come to take what you want to reproduce with who you want, how you want and when you want. Let's take that sweet DNA that's as good as Manukarani. Yes, Manukarani. Dead posh, expensive, hard to get, often found in a plastic box behind the till at Holland and Barrett in case somebody nicks it. We are many. They are few. Oh, yeah. And before I go, a word of warning. No, you shut your mouth, you. Listen up, healthcare scientists. You might call me common, but you can't ever vaccinate me. I'm elusive, adaptive. Who knows where I might be lurking next? Who I might be? Watch your back. Well, I don't know about you, but I thought that was a rather successful first uh, session myself.